who is Jean then that she didn't get depressed and go work in the bank? She got depressed and she went and wrote. She got depressed and she went and created things. So, I couldn't have worked at a bank, Robert. I would have. <laughs> no, I just pull out the air. You know what I mean? But I mean, huh? We do. We do not know the number of other actresses and actresses then who were not of the white tone. Yeah. Who tried, were rebuffed, and left for a this. Lot night, left. It, a, a lot, lot left. A lot left. So a talent pool left. And so what is the difference between those who fought to stay, those who went and created something on their own, and those who just went, I'm out of the game? I, I think it was the writing that kept me going. Um, I, weirdly enough, I think the the fact that I was for all, in that especially, it's, uh, I was like I was writing a lot, and I thought I was going to be. That's the one thing I feel like that it, right now is that I feel like I I worked really hard at the writing, and and I you know there's a few plays that that were pre professionally produced, but there's there's a chunk of writing that I still haven't finished. Um, but all that work that I did do the, all that writing and researching and, and uh, somehow gave me a context to understand where I was. I think that that's partly why. Um, I, I never had an ambition to be a star the way, you know, like... Why not? I, I don't know. I just never was, it, it, never, it never crossed my mind. I, like there were lots of times where I, I thought, oh, I want to do that role or I want to play that kind of character. but. The notion of being a star just was never very interesting to me. It looked to me like, because like, you remember in the 80s and the, the stardom was a, looked like a freakish, uncomfortable and unhappy kind of way you to mean live. from a Canadian point of view or from an American, North American point of just view? Just both. They just, like, we didn't have stars in Canada back 